Hey everyone, Jay from Jay's Garage. I'm just going to do a quick video. We're going to post it. I wasn't going to do one. I did a little bit of work to my throttle body here. Some might call it a light porting job. And actually the reason was is because the aluminum was extremely pitted all through here from water sitting inside there. You can actually see the mark under the throttle body blade. And on the throttle body, we had water sitting in this parts engine for quite some time so I was going to buy a new throttle body for my build and I decided to stay with the truck intake manifold so it gave me an opportunity to pull this one apart clean it up go through it do a little bit of grinding this isn't a full port like a race shop would do but this is something that I would do on any street vehicle any daily driver street car just to improve performance a little bit or at least throttle response so follow along and we'll go through step by step what we did to get here and I hope you enjoy. So yesterday I was going to bolt my throttle body on the 5.3 I'm doing for my S10. And it was so white and crusty from sitting outside. The throttle was seized to the, was seized inside. You can see it had a lot of water in it and it uh, really pitted up the, the aluminum in the throttle body. So. I wasn't going to do a video. What I did is I tore it apart and I I actually used it, I put it in my glass beater and I held it about two, three feet away from the glass beads as not to take the original finish off to try and get the white off. And now I'm going to disassemble the whole thing, but I thought I'm going to try and port this while I'm at it. I don't have a lot of stuff here. I have a couple burrs. I have a, some sandpaper rolls I've made on the end of a drill bit. I use these actually. From Merit, just some easy grip. And I'm just going to clean this up and see how it turns out. So I thought I'd do a quick video on this, and uh, I'll add it to add it to the rest of the stuff that we do. But I'll go through it in stages, as I'm not too sure how long this is going to take me. Okay, we're still slowly going on this. So we're going to go slow. This is it was very pitted and discovered in here. And I'm not really a porter, it's not my thing. But I'm going to just keep taking my time and I'm going to try and get this cleared up to the point where we can polish it up and radius it the way we want it to be. I've chosen just to do the small sandpaper rolls for now, just to go slow and just so you can keep the shape. A lot of people go very quickly, but uh, I'm going to take my time here. I want to keep my shape so it's easier to polish in the end. So, let's keep going. One of the things you always want to do is be mindful of, always keep moving. Never stay in one spot. And if you keep working one area like this all the time, remember to round it back in after. You want to come back and make sure you can round that back in. It's very important. So, again, just take your time. Took a little while to get to this point, and here, as you can see, I still can't get it all out where it was, uh, where all the water is collected. But we'll keep working on it here. This is a slow process, so I'll be here for a little while. But again, constant movement. Once I get this cleared up, and I get to shape it, and we get to polish it, it'll, uh, it'll look a lot different than it does right now. So let's go back and make sure we have all this radius back into there. And we do. This isn't the fast way to do it, but you could do it this way if you wanted to with a smaller sandpaper roll. I know this is tedious to watch, so I'll turn it off.
See, we're still polishing this. We're going to shape the front of it. We're going to polish it up. We're going to finish that. I'll decide how the radius is after. It's much smoother than most of it, but I will still touch it up. A lot of people are taking the back of this out. There's an ever so slight lip here. And uh, I'm not doing that. I don't think it's uh, I don't really think it's a big deal. So I'm just not going to do it. I might radius it, but I probably won't. Other than that, as far as reshaping this whole thing, you can take this ridge over here, you can blend into the ridge, you can come into here and radius it, but don't take that, I don't even know what to call it, it's not a venturi. Don't take that completely out, radius it in to the existing. And it will be more responsive. It will feel a little better. You're not going to pick up 20, 30, 40 horsepower here, so it's, uh, take your time. Learn how to do some of this um, if, if you so choose. Like I say, we're just using a flapper wheel now. We started off with uh, with some sandpaper rolls. I decided I didn't want to use uh, a burr. Actually, I don't have a small burr for my Dremel anymore. I just have a small pointy one, which I don't want to use. And I don't want to use one of my big ones for my other stuff or my port aluminum head. So. And because there's not that much of a difference, like there is, there's throttle response difference and they feel a little bit better. But because this is minute, you don't want to change the actual shape too much of this one anyway. You just want to blend and radius everything and polish it up. So take your time and however you choose to do it, I'm using a Dremel, like I say, I use a drill bit that fits into my Dremel and I just, I twist on the, uh, the sandpaper rolls. I've got one right here. So I just buy these little sandpaper rolls and I'll just twist those on and I use that. You can buy different configurations. You can buy cones, you can buy flats, you can buy whatever you want. But that's what I use. And we've taken most of that ridge out of here. We just have a little bit of it here. There's more of it there than there was over here and down here. I'm gonna keep working at it. It's a slow go. But I just wanted to give you an update and we'll continue on. One of the things I was going to add is my, my little flapper wheel is up. It's an 80. My sandpaper rolls are 80s. You really want to find some 120, um, some, some little rolls in 120 or the flapper wheel. I don't have one here. I might actually try some sandpaper and just lightly sand this after. But I'm going to keep working. I just wanted to point that out. Everything I've used so far today is 80 grit. All right, so where are we here? We spent a whole bunch of time on set throttle body. We have radius to better, but we haven't taken out that whole ridge. If you can see it in there in the light. And we're not going to. So we removed a bunch of material all through here. We used the sandpaper roll and 80 grit. Then we used the flapper wheel. And that's all I had. So I found some 220 and 400 grit sandpaper and then uh, I found some emery cloth. It's nice and smooth. There's no divots. Looks good. Nice radius. This watermark back here is, like I say, this throttle body was all white and uh, it had been sitting outside on top of an engine for I don't know how long. And so it's stained, and because that's where the throttle blade is, I don't really want to come in there. You can see in here that we, we've radiused really well into here. Oh, sorry. You can see in here that we've radiused quite well into there. It's nice and smooth. It's a nice transition now. I'd like to work that area a little bit more, but because the throttle blade's in there, I'm, I'm just not going to. But this should help. For one, it got rid of the really crusty watermark I had. And for two, 
it's it is it's it's directionally better and it's a lot smoother so it's certainly not going to affect anything um but that's about all i have on this anybody that wants to port their own throttle body the best information i can give you is like i say just go gradual try it in steps if your car runs good after you've done it you obviously haven't went too far or messed up anything you can do it incrementally it took me about an hour and a half to get to this point, but I'm looking forward to getting this thing running and seeing how, seeing how crisp it feels. And uh, yeah, so moving on, we'll get to a different part of this project. I think we'll try the throttle blade. See if we can get that. Uh, get that in showing you. I'm not too sure why, just for something to do. So we'll start with sanding the throttle blade. Part of the reason is because when I had it in the glass beater, I've actually made it quite dull. See here, the outer edge is shiny, and the center is dull. So I'm going to see if I can fix that. Okay, it's coming out. We used, uh, we used a little bit of uh, 220 sandpaper because it was really dull. And it was really dirty. And then we went over it with the with the flapper wheel and now we're going to use some uh, cloth and so far it's still good it looks good it's coming out it's nice and smooth we'll get those uh, flapper wheel marks off of it then we'll get this all back together Yeah, that's going to work out just fine. Just wanted to give you a quick update there. And uh, we'll keep cleaning this up and uh, get it back together. Okay, so we got the throttle body blade back in. Looks pretty good. Now you'll notice these two tabs that are above the shaft. One's against the shaft and one isn't. It doesn't have to be, well, it just has to be so it works for you. When I have mine down toward the shaft, it actually won't open and close. Just wanted to point that out. So if you're having problems putting yours back together, just make sure you can open and close it without a problem. One of the things they do say when you reinstall these uh, these screws is to use a Loctite, which I just dropped on the floor. I don't have any blue. But they will use red. So I've actually done this in the past without Google, you know, back in the days before Google. I didn't use Loctite, so I don't remember ever having an issue. But it's always good to be safe. No use compromising an engine over something this simple, right? I'm kind of doing it this, this way just so everybody can see. Make sure we can tighten these, you don't break them. They're not that strong. So, just going to do them by hand real quick. Box looks uh, really cluttered. It really isn't. It just looks that way. Okay, just check them a couple times. Maybe wrist strength. There we go. We got our throttle body all back together. Actually sticks a little bit. I'll adjust that. Anyway, thanks for watching.